This is how to create a screencast for your uh, first GarageBand project. First off, we want to open up QuickTime. And QuickTime, if you search up here, you can type QuickTime, and QuickTime Player is what we want. So we open this up, and what we want to do is have our composition open. Oops, I closed QuickTime. So here's my composition, and I'll search for QuickTime again. done and what I want to do is go to file new screen recording and what happens is if I see these uh, bars lighting up right here that means that the microphone's working if I don't see that I want to make sure that built-in microphone is turned on and then I click the record button and right now it's saying that if I just click anywhere on the screen it'll start recording and if I wanted just a section I would click and drag and hold over the section I wanted and when I let go it would start recording but right now I just want the whole screen so I'll click here and you can see this button at the top. When I'm done, I'll click this. So what I want you to do is to play the loop. And let's click here. I want to play it a few times. Make sure that this is turned on so that we can hear it. And that again is right up here, or click right here. You can see how it leaves if I don't have it on. And hold your headphone up to the speaker, I'm sorry, the microphone on your computer at the very, very top. And just play a little bit of it so I can hear how it loops. Make sure it loops so I can hear how that works. The next thing is look at the list of skills and the first one for instance says reveal and conceal the library and then the next one activate the cycle area which is this right here. You can do that either way and so on. Open smart controls. The smart controls are over here. So you can open and close these things and continue on down the list to showcase that you know where these things are. And as you're talking you can just tell me what you're doing. I'm opening this. Just name the things. And that shares with me very quickly that you know where the parts are in GarageBand. Then when you're done, you click on this button right here. It's going to give you a preview, which you can then play. And you can see this. And you'll hear the voice. You'll see all the stuff. Just make sure it works. Then save it to the desktop. Name it uh, whatever you want to call it. And I like to name things uh, something obvious. And I will then save. I like to save to the desktop usually. And then once that's done, you can upload it to your YouTube channel and then embed it in your blog post. And refresher on your blog post, you're gonna, it's going to look like this with your summary, your embedded video from YouTube, and then what you learn. Make sure you clearly put that stuff in. You can look at your checklist as normal to make sure you got that. When you're all done, have somebody proofread it, hand this in to me, and you're all done.